You know exactly what it means. You have to look on our Facebook to see if it's gone. Oh, what do I need to do? The sneakities? Mm -hmm. We have a little T Swift playing. You're on. All right, here we go, Marcus. Thank you. Did everyone miss me? I <laughs> We'll wait a minute till people get here. Here's the thing, you guys. I've missed you. <laughs> this is a summary, a summary album. I've missed you. It's been a couple of weeks. Aubrey's not here with me today, but my beautiful little daughter, Jenna, <laughs> is. And I was just going to film her. Um, Hi, Jennifer. Where are you from? I was going to film her just like a video so she could share her high school album that she's been so diligently working on with you. But I'm like, Facebook Lives are way more fun. Then we, you guys can interact. You can ask questions. Hi, Aubrey. Yay. And um, and so some of you, if you're you're hitting this later, after it's not live, well, apparently you had something to do at 5 o'clock on a Thursday. But here we are. <laughs> Okay, hi Linda, where are you all from? Um, say hello and um, we'll get started here. I just, my heart goes out to our seniors this year. Is this ever gonna end? Is COVID ever gonna end, you guys? Don't even get me started. For those of you that have been with us all of COVID, we've been creating this little journal together and having weekly face or every other week Facebook Lives with Aubrey. Um, and that's been super fun. And I'm like, okay, is it over yet? And here we are. Everything just keeps getting canceled. Whatever. Mm -hmm. California, we just celebrated your fa oh your family graduation. Yay! So Jenna, um, they already did their walk, <laughs> and they filmed it right. And then they're gonna air it yeah, next week. like took pictures and stuff. I don't think they like filmed. But I know I didn't see a video. Yeah. I thought they were filming it and then doing a virtual. Well, that's why they took pictures with their names. So. Oh, so they'll just show a picture with your name? I think so. Somewhere. <laughs> awesome. Well, I my heart just goes out to these seniors. So I have a senior, Noah, and I was blessed with three little boys and zero girls with the love of scrapbooking and dressing up little girls. Never had one. And then I was able to marry Jenna's father, and I received this beautiful girl in my life. <laughs> She's been a huge blessing, you guys. I'm so lucky and I'll start crying if I talk about it, but <laughs> she's amazing and such a good girl and it works hard. She actually does a lot at Persnickety, packaging your orders and shipping them after school and now all day. So um, anyway, we're grateful. I'm so grateful for Jenna, but um, I was, we were talking about, you know, like this COVID album Jenna wrote in. And she didn't grow up like scrapbooking with her mom like I did. Um, I pulled out my Orem High School. So Jenna's graduated from Orem High here in Orem, Utah. And Shar Shar is also a tiger, an Orem High tiger. And I went to the year. But I was showing her my high school, well, album. And if you guys remember these, this is what I used. But I put all of my pictures in here in this beautiful floral <laughs> post found album that are coming out and um and i love this album you guys you time flies and so if any of you are watching are in high school right now or younger and you're like mm, you are going to want to journal stuff names write things down we can't rely on instagram and facebook and Twitch and Snitch and what are they all called? <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat. We can't rely on all that stuff. Instagram. Just money. <laughs> we can't rely on these platforms to store our memories and our moments. So I put like on these, and you guys, I still keep in touch with these people. So like I have on this one, oh, I can't see. Like I put, of course, I cut out their names. Teresa, Emily, Holly. Um... And that, these are all my friends in high school and all the fun things that we did that Jenna didn't get to do, not to, not to rub it in. So as Jenna was, oh, as we were talking about the senior year, um, 
Oh, I need to move this, Mark. Tell me. Okay. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Thank you. Oh, you have the 90s pillow parts. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Close to my heart. I need to just redo all my albums. Murray High 2020. <laughs> These poor kids. I feel so bad. Mostly for Jen. My son could care less. I mean, I'm sure, Noah, if you're out there, you do care a little bit. But poor Jenna already had her prom dress purchased. She was so excited. Anyway, I'll let you do the talking. But um, what I was getting at, <laughs> shut up, sorry, um, is that um, I'm like, hey, Jenna, Webster's albums has these great, these are like really cool albums that like the kids, you know, they're, they're great quality. Yeah, they're great quality. They're leather. They're kind of hipster. Mm -hmm. The kids really like, what if I get you one of these? Would you like to like document your year? Meaning sophomore, junior, senior year. Um, would that be fun for you? And and here it is. Mm -hmm. um, so when Shari gave me that opportunity, I was like, at first I was like, I'm, I've never done scrapbooking or anything like that. So I was kind of nervous because I didn't really know how to or like what to really do. But also this is like a good way to like start to like get into scrapbooking more is just like doing these like photo slots that I did. And so I even went a little bit farther back and I kind of went into seventh grade just a little bit. Perfect. And so like I kind of started at seventh grade with like me and my grandpa and stuff and just things that like I would think like, oh, I want to remember this like when I'm looking back or showing my kids like what my life is like and like I don't have it anymore, but I had a pet bird and just like random <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, a pet bird. Yeah. <laughs> so just like random things like that. Fun people, even though I'm. Like, I was even looking back in some friends that I'm not friends with anymore. Um, I even put them in because they're still a part of my past or whatever it is. Yeah, your story. And so, yeah, it kind of got me sad, especially because I was making it during COVID. Oh, I know. But um, it was really, really fun. And I'm really glad that I'm doing this, especially, like, hearing you and my mom talk about your guys' high school stuff. Like, my mom doesn't have anything for it. And you do. And seeing your stuff, I'm like, okay, well, knowing the difference of those two, I want my kids to then see my experience and everything that I went through, too. Especially because, I mean, I'm cool enough, I guess, to have to go through COVID <laughs> in high school. Well, this but, is like no other graduating year class exactly. ever. I so, mean, 2021, okay. who knows? But this is the year. Like, I need to document it. Oh, yes. Like, and so... And so um, I wrote down, there's like some little like experiences and they have these on their website, which is nice. And she did her journaling. I did my journaling. So really so you I kind of broke remember. it off into like, you kind of started in seventh grade and put a few little things in just there. Just a few like memorable things. And then I mostly, mostly everything is just high school. Like your three years of Sophomore, high school. junior, senior year in order. Yeah. You kind of did mm -hmm. it in order. And awesome. I did it in order. And... I'm just sad. <laughs> See, even Abby says it'll be fun to flip through. And Abby may know, just like, you know when kids don't like to listen to their parents or whoever we are, they're like, I don't want to listen. I don't want to make one of these. I'm like, I promise you, you're going to love it. Yeah. Anyway, so even Abby says so. <laughs> and Star says, make sure you add the journaling. She has. Let's show them, like, Jenna has great handwriting. And so she used, these are, oh, if somebody from Webster's is on, tell me what these are called. But the Webster's albums, the pages are a little bit different. It's not a three ring. Um, mm -hmm. mm, Aubrey, I can't remember what these are called. But anyway, this comes like in a little kit with this little bag. And super, super cute. In here, I didn't want to like overstep my bounds. I don't know what Jenna has in here. But um, oh, that's, those are just extra pictures. Extra photos. You could put like tickets, cards people wrote you, your boyfriend, love letters. <laughs> yeah. The bracelet he gave you that you'll probably won't wear in five years, <laughs> but maybe you will. I don't know. But yeah. you know what I mean? Just little fun, memorable things you could put in here. And this slips on top of the album. So it's kind of fun that Webster's mm -hmm. does this. Um, oh, and some then you have stuff. some other stuff yeah. here. Yeah. Let's show them that. So then she also put like in the little pocket um, that like just some extra things as well. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, this album, like a lot of pocket albums, is three by fours and four by sixes, which makes it really easy. Um, did you do any? Oh, this is a six by eight. I, I thought it was an eight by eight. Did you do any, I didn't do any full six by eights? Eight by, oh, six by eight? No, I didn't do any. Okay, so I have some pockets so far, but I haven't done any. 
Yeah, so it'll cut this also will they'll have full six by eight. I for some reason I was thinking this was eight by eight, but um so four by six, four by six, and then three by fours. And she added a few journaling cards in here and pictures of her friends and then a lot of what you wrote. Um Jenna, I feel so bad because tell them about your high school musical three. Oh <laughs> I um Something when I was eight years old, High School Musical three came out, and that was High School Musical senior year. And I've been watching High School Musical forever, and I was obsessed with it. And I had a High School Musical backpack. I had everything, all nine yards. I was obsessed with High School Musical. <laughs> Wait, so what's the guy in it? The... Zach Efron. Troy if Zach Efron is out <laughs> there, you give her a call, Zach. No, he's way too old. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay, um, keep going. Keep going. And so. I just remember watching that movie because it came out when I was eight and I was so pumped. I've watched it on repeat ever since. I've been so pumped for my senior year and I have two older brothers, so I watch them go through their senior years. And um, especially the brother right above me, he loved his high school experience and not only his high school experience, but senior year. And I just watched him in High School Musical 3, and those were, like, the two things that, that, like, drove me. And I was like, I want to live it. Like, I remember it you always so that. fun. Everyone, mm. especially, like, all the adults, like, everyone says, like, those three years are so memorable, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I was so excited. In senior year, you get to be at the front of the student section. You get senior prom. It's just you and your best friends. Like, you're just, like, at the top, and you're just there, and it's so fun. And then boom. And then... Yeah, and I was so looking forward to like our senior dinner dance. We our my school does a lot of um, like end of year senior activities, like senior assassin and stuff like that. And we didn't get to like any of it, which is really I was looking forward to those so so much, which is just super super sad. And there was two dances left, and I didn't get them. Yeah. <laughs> graduation. And I was gonna speak at graduation, but when it got online, I didn't want to anymore. So I'm just so like, sorry. I know it's, it's heartbreaking. I like mean, I wanted to look at all my classmates and speak instead yeah. of to a camera. You know? I know, darn it. I know that's so hard. And I mean, to be honest, well, graduation is amazing, especially if you're going to speak. But they're all kind of the same. But this year, your graduation was yeah. different than it's ever been I before. Know. So, um, you know, trying to get, trying to think positive. But those high school, high school musical was filmed here too in Utah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna have to get a hold of Zac Efron and have him. Make, <laughs> he needs to make it up to her because since she was eight, she's been waiting. He needs for to this give day. me my senior prom. <laughs> yeah, come on, and Zach. show up in a tree like he did in high school. school. And never watched it, but yay! Is that what he did? He showed yeah. up in a tree. He was in a tree together. All right, great. Well, for those of you watching, if <laughs> she's my mini me, isn't she cute? And I didn't even have to gain sixty pounds. <laughs> I didn't even have to burp you. Okay, so um, back to the album. We are memory, or not we are, sorry, sorry, sorry. Webster's Pages, Webster's Pages. Um, and Jenna's filled this whole thing up already. And we still have more to go, right? Like, did you put your ones we just took? I mean, do you have any more you want to put in here? Um, we can keep adding to it. Yeah, probably. Like, if I do more, it's just graduation. Was like the, I haven't done really anything since graduation. Where's that one we were going to share? Do you remember the day COVID started? Like, do you remember, like, hearing about it and being like, okay. I remember when um, I was in math and my teacher, Michelle, sorry, Michelle, um, she was like, hey, so Corona is kind of like, she kept, she would always bring up the two cruise ships because, mm. like, that was kind of the beginning. And that's what I remember is, mm -hmm. like, those two cruise ships. And like them being quarantined, and we're like, okay, well, better not get here, <laughs> you know, kind of stuff yeah. like that. And I remember when it finally got here, my math teacher, she was the one that kept bringing it up, and she was like, so I keep hearing that we might do a two weeks leave of absence thing and do online, and then maybe prepare for the rest of the year. She was like, just keep hopeful, kind of stuff like that. And she really like taught me to have a positive mindset no matter what the outcome is, kind of thing. And so I'd always try to keep a positive mindset, and then. It was those two weeks hit and we had to do them, which was a bummer. And then and most people are like, yay, like Noah. Yeah. I was like, yay. And now he's like, oh. Yeah. And now mm -hmm. kept positive mindset to hope, hopefully that it would be done after two weeks. Wasn't done after two weeks. Then it said May 1st. 
crossing our fingers. Everyone that will come back May 1st didn't come back May 1st. Still try to keep a positive outlook, even though it was all crumbling down around us. But <laughs> it was it was a really cool experience overall, though. So, yeah. I'm so sorry. Well, um, Abby says that she's going to reenact the scenes of East High with you. Maybe we can get Zach to come to East High again, where yes. we filmed it, and, mm -hmm. um, and reenact the whole thing. A couple people had questions for you on Instagram. Um, let me try to pull that up here. Let's see. Jenna. Yes, this is her natural hair color. Mm -hmm. And what was the most heartbreaking to have been canceled, like, event this year? Um, all of it? I don't know. There's this, um, we do this thing at my school. It's called Spirit Bowl. And... Uh, it's just a whole day of, um, we go, everyone's, like, in different groups, like, the junior class, the sophomore class, the senior class, and the faculty, and this year we're going to do Avatar, so this year we're going to do fire, and, like, earth, wind, air, kind of stuff like that. Cool. And then, um, but, like, it's usually, like, Star Wars themed, and, like, you're just, like, different things, or, like, um, my sophomore year, it was, like, villains, superheroes, sidekicks, stuff like that. And you just do like challenges, bunch of stuff, and like each class does dances, and just like it's just like this big, just like race, and whoever gets more points and stuff, and that's always so so fun. Um, and I miss I, I miss that a lot, but also just senior prom. I'm really really looking forward to senior prom. I know prom. your dress is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was probably yeah senior prom. Or then spring fling was our last dance too. Those dances, like those are just so so memorable is just dances with your friends and just having that night and like it's so so fun it's like being an adult without being an adult i know so and now you have to an adult overnight well yeah. uh, justine's asking what what you're going to do or what you're doing now that you have officially graduated oh um i'm gonna work at persnickety for um until i go on my mission and then i'll come home and then i'll go to dixie and study study elementary education so that's what i'm doing and keep a positive mindset about mm -hmm. things, you know. <laughs> and try to move on. That's something that's also kind of hard is that, like, no. I didn't get, like, the closure. end. Yeah, closure and yeah. end all those things. So trying to figure out different ways of having those closure, that closure is something that I'm also trying to do. So I can't. I know. I know that us adults were like, eh. But this is their world. Like, friends and, like, what they've been working up to is their world. And, you know, and then you have those people that were in spring sports and, like, all this yeah. stuff is just, like, boom, shut down, mm -hmm. and it just breaks my heart, but um, I'm glad that you've taken time to share, share just a little paragraph of that, because I feel like, and I don't know if you're, a lot of us adults have had to go through a lot, of, a lot more, so we are more, um, you know, self-help stuff, but I, for me, journaling and writing things down kind of helps me process, and like, oh, pen to paper, it helps me feel like mm -hmm. it's legit happening, and separate it from my feelings, but I don't know if, if that helped you a little bit, but share a little yeah. bit what you wrote right there, if you if you don't mind. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Yeah, just share. Um, I journaled in like my, little thing, yeah. like, right in my, it was like, this is just when I'm doing all my coronavirus and the <laughs> graduation that I had. And so I wrote, um, the coronavirus broke my heart in a different way. It made me miss out on all the amazing end-of-year senior activities in my last senior prom. Most importantly, it was, I wasn't able to walk with my friends at graduation. So, this is my COVID graduation. Although a lot was taken from me, a lot of lessons were learned. And just, like, that's something that I also, like, I want to share the heartbreak in my journaling, but I also want to show, like, not all the sad parts. Like, I did, like, learn a lot. Um, and then I wrote, like, Corona, I went to St. George with all my friends like before we knew anything of the two weeks was canceled or anything because there's a sunshine tournament where the baseball team has a tournament down in St. George so we all go with our friends so I was all with all my friends and all of a sudden we got the news and we had to drive home so I wrote right next to my pictures of that fun experience with all my friends and I wrote um this is when COVID-19 struck and um, it took a lot from me but also taught me to never take things for granted and to live like life like I'm dying and that's also something that like I think we all can learn from COVID is that like we take like the small things from gr for granted like going
going to the store or like just super small things that we mm-hmm. think is like our day to day is that like all that stuff gets taken away and just to appreciate things more too and like I appreciate my friends more and things like that and not like if I'm like oh this person's annoying but also like that it just like takes into the stuff more to like have more patience with things too and just I don't know enjoy the small things more so yeah. are you really 18? <laughs> She's teaching us some things here. <laughs> <laughs> You're 18, giving us all the, all the self-help tips. No, those are really good points, Jenna. And I have, you know, writers in eighth grade, and I, he was always like, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. And then when school cancels, it's like, okay, never mind. I think I like school. Yeah. So it does teach them if we can just try to stay positive and, um, you know, do our best, like you said. Mm-hmm. And, like, for a lot of people, they, like, I know my brother, he – doesn't like he's out of work right now because mm-hmm. of corona and like before he was like I don't want to go to work kind of mentality and now he's like I want to go to work I want to go to work mm-hmm. so it's just like again yeah, like, being grateful for those freedoms to even yeah, have a job exactly especially in the United States we do have a lot we mm-hmm. take for granted but I love this and I'm so glad that you did it you pretty much had most of these on your phone right yeah and then you just uploaded them and mm-hmm. did the three by four four by six I noticed too like sometimes on pockets for those pocket people out there like on here, she figured out on her own. Like you put two three by fours on a four by six slot because you just didn't. You probably didn't have a picture for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can just you know do whatever's easy. She, it's not a lot of frills and spills, and it probably took you like how long to do this? Oh, not long at all. Either. And like the, it just um, the only part that took me long was just getting the dates because I put. Um, you wrote on the back of each one. I wrote on the back of each one the date and then like what we were doing kind of thing or then like if someone was in my picture like some of my friends that like maybe when I'm older I will space things so I wrote their names on the back and stuff like that so that's just the stuff I wrote on the back these are priceless and I promise you that you will be so glad you have this um just the stories to tell you can show your kids this is this whole year will be going down in history yeah and you're living part of it um, in a big way too. This mm-hmm. was your big year. So thanks for sharing it with us. Mm-hmm. And you may have inspired other people to do the same. Yeah. Um, you know, apparently we're home for the summer, so it's a great <laughs> time to, um, write down some things and just really get in tune to what's important. Mm-hmm. And like you said, our perspective. Yeah. <laughs> thanks 18 year old Jenna. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give Zach a call after this. We'll get <laughs> Thanks everyone for being here. We hope that um, for those of you that have seniors or, well, you're, everyone's affected in this some way, but hopefully we can find the, you know, the like Jenna said, the positive in this situation and we're all in this together. We really are. Thank you so much for being here. Love you guys. <laughs>